Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dungeons Dragons Online. We are back with the deaths, so now we are going to be doing the deaths of darkness. Um, very relatable um, <laughs> names, I think. No, they, they're really, to be honest, I really like these quests because they're so unique. I feel like there's so many like different types of enemies. The only, the only sad thing is the is that we'll go and down into sewers again, which I feel like it was so repetitive when we were in the It is a place. dark here. Aim for a few flickering torches that might provide enough light to fight properly. Not, uh, sorry, not the marketplace, the harbour. Um, oh, I don't know why she's targeting herself, that feels weird. Um, for this one, I have right then left. So I think I said right because there's a chest in this one but not in the other one so let's do that yes there are some traps in here though oh damn okay let's go yes yeah, so you need to say all the hobgoblins and then this will open and I know there's definitely a trap here I think this is a trap There we go. If you run right through it, you can usually avoid it. Don't, do not hesitate. Just, just zoom through. Um. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's fine. And then this will always be a shrine. And then we need to go this way, where we will come across a lot of undeads. There we go. Okay, I see a lot of undead. I don't know. Maybe maybe I was hallucinating last time I did this quest. I think some pop up when you open this chest. Yeah. Again, it's been a while since I've done this. And then, according to my notes, um, if I go left, sometimes there is a chest down here. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be in here, right? Okay, let's open this. I'm gonna have to change my controls, even though I like the double click. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> um. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I ever go down here. Usually I try to go the way that has the least fights. <laughs> no, I think... Yes, yeah, this is one of these quests I always tend to... I kind of just go through because I kind of like getting house in the favor because you can um, unlock a vendor who sells uh, really good um, uh, what's it called quivers yeah so if you're if you're ever like a long range character it's always nice to uh, get some house in the favor just to get those um, upgraded quivers definitely recommend. You can buy normal ones in House Sinef as well, but I kind I kind of like um, I kind of like the upgraded one just a little bit more. Like I said, with all these different patrons, you get so many different types of benefits. I don't think I I don't think I said that before. Like it isn't just one benefit for all. Like you you get different benefits for each for each patron. Some are better than others. Um, See, this is what I don't like. It's not targeted unless I get close. Also, I would highly recommend never uh, running in like this because there are hobgoblins up above. Usually what I do is I usually run all the way behind here. Out of the... Um, oh, are they not there? They must be there on higher difficulties. So if you were to do this quest on hard or elite, then you will see some clerics up above and they will like cast Scorching Ray or um, some some other nasty spells. So usually the best way to do it is to either do like an aimed weapon from there and drag the boss towards you along with the others or just run all the way behind you 
can try to avoid the clerics and then just have the fight behind you instead. That's the two things we'll be doing. That's the two things you can do to avoid extra amount of damage. But yeah, that is me for this episode. I will see you in the next one in the depths of Discord. Please stay tuned and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.